All right, hi guys. This is Mr. Stearns. Uh, I'm going to run through a basic tutorial, I guess, on how to add trim marks or crop marks. Um, then I want to show you how to step something out, um, and then we'll keep that file, and I'm going to move on to something else and show you how to do center lines. But for now, I just want to show you um, how to add trim marks. So what I did is I set up a which would be a six bar, six bar panel card or you know, an insert for an envelope. Um, basically, it could be anything, business card size, anything, as long as we have a dimension that needs to be trimmed on. So we have to have, so we know that this needs to be trimmed on six and a quarter side to side and four and five eighths this way. Um, so what I want to do is, I now this line doesn't actually print. This is just, I use just so you could see the edge of the box. But I want to just simply add trim marks. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to effect crop marks. Now what it did is it added an effect. So if we go to view outline you can see that there's really nothing there. It's just um, empty space. But when we go back to view overprint preview it's there. It's because it's an effect and it can actually be um, turned on, turned off, um, which is cool. Um, but we want to actually take it and make it an actual line that we can work with, a vector, piece of vector artwork. So we're going to go to Object, Appearance, Expand. Alright, so now if we look at it, it's all going to be grouped. So we're going to have to go to Object, Ungroup. And there are our basic trim marks.